gonna need a medium sized boot, Goldilocks. Can I get? All right, let me go check in the back and see if we got your size. <laughs> yeah, go see if you get my size in stock. Tiered trays and accents are hot right now. We'll show you how we just did our spring makeover of our tiered tray and a little prepping for the farmer's market. We'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do a build it or make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. Uh, this week, Kim's sick of looking at the old uh, accents on the tiered tray. <laughs> Yes, so I don't know if you recall, but I don't know, months ago, we made some tear tray accents for travel. Travel was our theme and it was so cute, but I guess well, I it's been that a was, year. That was going into the pandemic. No. <laughs> and then, travel. and so here it sets with the travel theme staring me in the face uh -huh. for like a year. Taunting. Yes, can't go anywhere. So I'm tired of looking at it and I want to create some new tear tray accents for spring. Plus. It's March, y'all. <laughs> We're getting ready for the farmer's market. Yeah. So I thought this would be a good one to start to do a little test cut and test project and see if this is something we want to bring to the farmer's market. These tier trays seem to be so popular. Hot. Yes. Yeah. Smoking. Super hot. So <laughs> A lot of requests, actually. We've had a lot of comments requesting tiered tray accents. Yeah. So actually, I'm... Terry emailed us. <laughs> I hope she's watching. <laughs> so we're looking to make a set and then I thought we could display them at, a, at the farmer's market. Bring a little to your tray, set them out so they can see if they're not familiar with it. They probably are, but if they're not, they can kind of see what that looks like. And then um, we would have some unfinished kits and some finished projects and package them up really cute. So that's what I'm looking to test out in this week's project. Oh, excellent. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We really just needed some quarter inch MDF and some eighth inch MDF. Oh, and some glue. Oh, and some masking tape. And, and, some, and some glitter. Yes, because I'm gonna make some of these a shaker. I don't know if you've seen the tear tray accents and the ones that come in a little shaker. So I'm gonna make a shaker version. So I've got some spring um sequins here and then to make the shaker you're also going to need some clear plastic sheets um, that we're going to cut and these are acetate sheets and i'll tell you a funny story so i sent the kid one of my kids the oldest kid to the store to pick up some things at michael's for me i actually wanted some i wanted sequins that had um like you know bunnies. flowers bunnies something more spring i mean these are spring colors um, but I wanted them to have shapes and anyway, she couldn't find them, but she called and said, Hey, do you want just one pack of these acetate sheets? They're only $3. And I was like, well, that's cool. And I was like, no, I just need one thinking to myself, I'll just go back and get another pack. If I need them, that's great. They're only $3. When I came, when she came home, they were on clearance for $3. They're normally $13. So then I was like, um, you can just march right back up there and get me a couple more since they're unclear. But she didn't go, so I'm hoping next time I do get back up there, they'll have some more. So we got these at Michael's. You might have them in clear in the clearance section. This was just la last weekend, so yeah. they may be in the clearance section at your Michael's. Three dollars. Three dollars. Yes, and we're gonna use the Glowforge to cut this. And I know that some people are like, oh, I don't have a Glowforge. Well, here's the great thing. One, we're gonna have these kits in our store so you can purchase the unfinished kit and make it yourself. Keep it for your own tier tray, sell it at your own farmer's market or, <laughs> or craft fair. Or the other thing is those of you that are Cricut makers, um, you can take these tier trays and cut them out on chipboard. heavy chipboard and either cut all the accents, it just takes a little bit longer, cut the accents in heavy chipboard, or just layer vinyl. So oh, yeah. there is a couple of ways of doing it. I don't think we're gonna have time in this video to do both methods. We will do it in a future video. We've already got some other uh, tear tray accents planned that I wanna test out for summer, like a lemon and a strawberry. I think they're gonna be really cute. So Water. we'll do one of those and we'll do it in a Cricut version for those of you that are our Cricut makers. Cricut version! Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. I already made the design in Adobe Illustrator. I'm just gonna import it into Glowforge and start cutting. 
We're going to start with 1 8 inch MDF. All the eighth inch pieces are cut. It's my little bicycle. Um, the boots, you like the boots? That's my shaker. Yeah, so we designed these rain boots. Problem is, these are giant boots. These, oh, these boots are made for stomping. <laughs> they're, sure. they're made for shaking, Kim. <laughs> yeah, I wanted these boots to be the shaker, but this is like a giant size shaker. I'm gonna need, we're gonna to need to make these a bit smaller. Right, right. I just think they're too big. Like half that size? Well, you know, just a little smaller. Okay, all right. All right, I'll go tweak it. We'll just make it a little smaller. <laughs> all right, I got smaller boots now. <laughs> what? Those are baby boots. How am I going to make a shaker with boots this size? I said like half the size. <laughs> okay, so he's... <laughs> okay, so he went from this size boot to this size boot. So you want something in between. I'm going to need a medium size boot, Goldilocks. Can I get... All right, let me go check in the back and see if we got your size. <laughs> go see if you get my size in stock. Those boots are too small. All right, all right, this is a good in, in between size. What do you think? It's like almost exactly in between. All right, I think so, it is a medium size here's, boot. Here's the large boot. Let me see, let me stack them. Yeah, it's like right in between. In yeah. betwixt. Well, it could be a little bit bigger, but I'm not gonna make <laughs> I mean, see, it could be just a little bit bigger. I don't know. Yeah, okay. All right, we're gonna go with these medium sized boots and they're gonna be a good size for a shaker. Oh, they gotta be a little bit bigger. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go cut out the quarter inch stuff. <laughs> these boots are made for stomping. And that's just what they'll do. All right, here's the inside frame for the boots. The inside frame is quarter inch, so it'll give it some shake, shake room. And uh, my truck really didn't come out right. It kind of fell apart. So uh, gonna go see if we got one of these in the back, ma'am. <laughs> Let's get a move on here. Room. Okay, that's what my truck's supposed to look like. That's a lot better now. Now he'll stand and sit on the tray. Now, yeah. I'm a little worried that he's too wide for the tray. He could be squatty a little bit, but let's so? do a test. So we'll just test and see. All right, this is a test run. This yeah. is a test run, Kim. We'll see if it fits on my tier tray. If it doesn't fit on mine and won't fit on yours, we'll make the file smaller. It might fit on my tier tray though, so we'll check both. <laughs> Now we're gonna cut the acetate that acts as the glass <laughs> to the shaker. But uh, the Glowforge won't recognize the clear acetate. So we're gonna put some masking tape on it. I'm gonna go clear back down. How oh, can you grab an exact dough? What do you call cool like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to say the whole thing. Exacto, stat! I don't even see it. Where did it go? Any blade. Any blade. I hope that one will do. It will. Ow! What? Well, I think 
think my little <laughs> my little birdie's legs. Well, first of all, they're not really. <laughs> oh, they came out a little small, huh? Oops. Okay. I gotta right. show you my little bird legs. Little Can bird see, legs. You see how tiny they are? Well, uh, oh, I just broke them. There we go. Yeah. Okay. I think all we're right. gonna have to beef those up a wee bit. Let me go beef those up. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're learning. Step three. Now we paint. <laughs> All right, of course, we're going to be using our country chic paints. Love this stuff. And about 10 different colors, so I probably won't name them all off. But if you like some of the colors that you see we're using, you can get yours at countrychicpaint.com using our coupon code. You'll get a 10% 10 10 discount using Make 10. Now, what's exciting is soon we will be offering these paints in our store. Uh, we actually have a shipment on the way, so, so then we'll just have to put all the SKUs in and put them in the store. But until then, we are going to be offering some um, starter kits. They come in a country chic starter kit with a couple of paint colors and some accessories. And as soon as they come in, I'm going to show you in probably next week's video, uh, I hope, <laughs> next week's video, show you what these cute little starter kits are like so that you guys could try it out if you wanted to the whole starter kit. So I'm really excited about that. All right, sorry. Back to what we're doing. Let's paint our accents. Let's paint them. All paint right. them if you got them. I think I'm gonna start with the white. All right, yes. So because we have so much white, we're gonna use this little mini sponge roller and this little mini tray and put some of our paint in there. Not a lot, we don't wanna waste it. But this way he can roll each one of these. And the great thing about using a relatively raw, dry sponge roller is when you're using this shiplap back, um, it won't get in the cracks if you keep it pretty dry. So okay. don't I'll get gloppy it with it. We'll see what I can do. All right. And you'll do all the white backers and crinoline. another little tip for you if you're painting tiny little things you can stick them to the back of a piece of tape here and they all stick right together oh, that's a good one. We're gonna glue it down, we're gonna assemble all the pieces. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. Paint right. is all dry. Next step, put it together. So I'm gonna start with my two little lovebirds here because I love them and they're so cute. They are, this kit is gonna be really cute all assembled, but you will have to pack your patience because there's a lot of little pieces, <laughs> little pieces I mean. Thank your patience for all the pieces. All the pieces. That's how I said it. I'm gonna put the frame on first so we know where the branch will go. I painted the boy bird in like a light brown. Look, I don't know why Gorilla, Gorilla Glue doesn't want to be our sponsor because now we're using Gorilla Glue. Gorilla Super Glue Gel. <laughs> this stuff, my favorite stuff so far. Whoa. Whoa, yeah. where are you going here? Got a little out of control. Keep going. <laughs> you don't have a lot of time with this stuff. Yeah, it said 10 to 45 seconds. Oh, uh, yeah, it's like 10 seconds. So we're using this one because it has a really fine tip and we're going to be gluing some really small pieces. All right. All right. So this should be sitting on the bottom so we can line up the... Oh, okay. We'll use our frame. We'll quickly take it off. Yeah, but then we'll know where the branch goes. We're gonna add our little bird branch. 
So while I'm waiting for Garrett, uh, today is his birthday. Oh yeah. Happy birthday, Garrett. Oh, thanks. You want me to get this out now or yeah. you want to add the flowers? No, I'm pull it out. Oh, you know what this is like? I'm playing Operation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, Operation. Were you any good at that game? Um, yeah. Like I said, super cute, but some tiny, tiny pieces. Top tip. <laughs> he likes it. When Top I say tip. <laughs> Uh, he just put the super glue on the table and because it's gel, he can just dip it in the super glue and dab. use the little tweezers and put it down there because our fingers aren't so fat trying to get this little thing in place. Last step, we're going to assemble our rain boot. Rain boot shaker. Rain boot shaker. We're putting our boots on. So we have our eighth inch top frame. Oh crap. Wow. You just made me sick to my stomach. What did you do? Oh, I missed the can. Don't worry about it. A quarter inch frame. This is where the shaker's gonna sit. Or the what is it? My sequins? Your sequins. And then my base. So we painted our base yellow, like yellow rain boots. Now we're going to glue on. There's a, where the base sits, where the little zigzag bottom sits. I'm missing a little piece right here. Don't lose your piece. We'll be fine without it. Don't worry. This thing is going to glue down perfectly. All right. It says shake dab and then I'm just gonna put it around mm -hmm. just a little bit every every inch or so man this glue like stuck instantly yeah. All right, so we have our base and now our quarter inch frame. So now we're gonna add, well, now we're gonna add the sequins and then add our acetate. Whoa. Whoa. Coming out heavy. Deep, deep Is that too much? Should I take some out? Nah, I don't think so. I think it's good. Oh my goodness, that really adds some pop to it, doesn't it? Yeah, it's very sparkly. I love it. All right, I'll let you do it this time. Usually Garrett's glue heavy tonight. He's the glue expert. He's the glue whisperer. This is my, this is my glue. <laughs> what? You. Oh, the attention to detail on this thing. Yes, it's my finest creation. I think it's gonna dry by the time you finish going all the way around. Nah, we're good. I'm a, I'm the old pro at this. You need some more up there. No, no, I don't. Leave me. This stuff is crazy glue. Let's see. I just let mine touch for like a second and it was done. Another tip, you should clean your acetate before you glue it down. We didn't do that, so I hope there aren't any major fingerprints on it. Mm, yeah, good point. All right, can you see it? Shake it, baby. Oh, that yeah. turned out pretty good. Yeah, pretty great. this little guy is so cute. It's exactly what I wanted. I hadn't made a shaker before, so I wanted to really add that. First first time for shaking. It's my first shake. And the next is to 
add a little string for our streamer. We're gonna run this around the middle, uh, the, the center tier, center tier. banner. I'll strung up and ready to go. What do you guys think? Think they'll sell? You think we should pair them with a tiered tray at the farmer's market? Think we should sell just the kit at the farmer's market? Or the finished kit at the farmer's market? I already have a plan on what we're doing at the farmer's market. Oh. I want to hear your thoughts. But, well, first let me say this is the tiered tray we made. We, we built, yeah, uh, the yeah, last year when we did the travel tray. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and now uh, we just swapped out the accents and added our spring accents. So for next week, our next week's video is going to be a DIY tier tray. Actually, we're going to do two versions. Uh, we're going to make another tray, not like this, a little bit different. Uh, and then we're going to use the Glowforge and you can uh, buy a tier tray kit, but it has a unique shape to it. I actually saw something yes. at Hobby Lobby very similar and I asked if Garrett could design one for me like that. So done I'm kind of excited. And done. I just have to make a test cut. <laughs> It'll be done by the time you film next week. Looks like we're about out of time. So if you're not going to join us on Patreon for our after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. And remember, this SVG and the kit will both be available in our store. Pop on over, pick one up, check out what we got. Make one for yourself. <laughs> for your shelf. Make one for your shelf. <laughs> be make shelfish. one for yourself. Shelf. Yeah. Your self shelf. Mm. Your three-tiered shelf. <laughs>